The main nitrogen fertilizer application method used on most rice fields is by hand brokers. This application process contributes about 60% losses to evaporation and runoff when it rains. To improve the fertilizer application processes on rice fields, the urea displacement technology UDP has been introduced to rice farmers in the tunnel irrigation facility, which is an initiative of the International Fertilizer Development Center. This new initiative is to engage over 100,000 farmers over a period of five years through practical training on demonstration farms for both dry and wet season farming. The urea displacement technology, which can be done manually or through mechanical applicator, improves crop yields by 20% whilst reducing fertilizer losses by one third. The Deputy Managing Director of the Irrigation Company of the Upper East Region, Sebastian Bajina, speaks on the benefit of using the UDP. Our farmer's normal practice is to broadcast urea or ammonia as top dressing on their rice fields. Now this has been found to be very wasteful in the sense that a lot of the uh, uh, urea or nitrogen is lost through evaporation, uh, through runoff and through leaching. So effectively about 40% of what you put in through broadcasting is used. And however, the in the urea with the urea displacement, the urea supergranule is buried seven centimeters below the soil surface and it stays there and releases the nitrogen to the crop throughout the growing period. Because it is below the soil, there is no evaporation losses and uh, it does not uh, leach in, it does not easily also get leached and runoff does not affect it. So there is more better use of the nitrogen in the, in the urea supergranule by the rice plant. Sebastian Bajina revealed that out of the eight demonstration fields introduced to rice farmers to displacement, yields have increased from six tons per hectare to eight tons per hectare, and they hope to upscale the demonstration fields to 16 for 2014 farming season to engage more smallholder farmers. Our news team visited some rice fields where farmers have been applying this method and they shared their experiences. <laughs> Sebastian Bajina noted that farmer groups under the tonal irrigation project will be assisted under the value chain approach that has been adopted for rice, maize and soya beans farmers in the district. From the Upper East Region, Luanash, for Vasa One News.